I'm not saying you should do 3D modeling in Excel, but I just want you to know that it is absolutely possible. Here's how we made this model of Mount Fuji using some data from ChatGPT and Excel's built-in surface chart. Pretty crazy. So I told ChatGPT to go out and kind of give me the data for a 3D surface chart in Excel that's gonna plot out the surface of Mount Fuji based off of its topography and elevation. It actually did a pretty good job coming up with a new prompt for itself to give me the right data, but the initial versions were a little funky. It didn't have much detail. It was a little too smooth, basically just a cone. I just asked it for a bit more detail and to not smooth it as much, give me some more detail based on the topography. And download the data set, it's this one here. And when you just selected that and turned it into a surface chart, basically it instantly gave me this. When I was rotating and I'm just using some of the rotation controls here that are available on this chart type, but it gave a pretty cool representation of Mount Fuji in the form of a surface chart. I'm gonna keep playing with this and see if we can get the uh, texture here a little bit smoother and get a little more detail for the whole surface of the mountain. But for a first try with five minutes of effort, it's pretty crazy we were able to get something like this. Now I'm gonna get a bunch of comments like, this isn't the right tool for the job. You shouldn't use Excel for that. But look people, Excel is this amazing tool for exploring little ideas like this super, super quickly. It's a really, really great option for this kind of thing. If you're somebody that's interested in just trying out new things in the world of data viz, getting a little creative, Excel's a great place to do it. it. Gives you a lot of flexibility to move really fast and test ideas quickly. So try it out, see what you can come up with. Let me know if you have questions. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to y'all soon.